Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a scriptable object installer for Zinject and Unity, and to basically pull settings out so that they can be maintained in that scriptable object as a scriptable object installer. So we have this greeting consumer prefab setting here, and right now it's attached to this greeting installer mono installer. Uh, that's okay if we want it to be managed here, but if we'd rather have it centralized in a scriptable object asset that we can create multiple instances of, such as one settings for your, uh, your live production game and then one for testing, um, then hopefully this tutorial will help you guys out a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my scripts installers folder and I'm going to right click create a new scriptable object installer. So this is going to be the settings installer. So inside of the settings installer, we're going to have a game settings object. So game settings, we haven't created the class for this yet, but we're going to allow this game settings to reside inside of the scriptable object. You can see up here, create asset menu. Um, whenever you have an object that, or a class rather, that extends from scriptable object, you can create instances of that object inside of your assets folder as something you can just navigate to and edit in the inspector. Um, so we're going to need a game settings class. So I will create that in the scripts folder. So new item, and I will call this class game settings.cs. So this game settings class is going to not use an interface. But rather what we can do is we can have multiple copies of the settings installer and we'll just bind it to resource locations. Uh, rather than binding an interface as a concrete object, we will bind a object in our assets file to that class. So it'll become a single object pulled out of some resource location inside of our project. And inside of this game settings class, the only setting that we are going to want to maintain is coming right out of here from the greeting installer. So the greeting installer. Uh, so we're gonna have the setting of public greeting consumer, greeting consumer prefab and put that in game settings. Uh, now, as you might imagine, the greeting consumer prefab is going to need to be here inside of the greeting installer. So what we can do is we can actually inject into an installer itself. So we're going to inject game settings, settings here, which will resolve later. And then we can take settings dot greeting consumer prefab, and this will all work in the same way. Now, obviously, in order for this installer to work now, it will require there to be at least one instance of a settings installer at the context of wherever it's loading, if that's the scene context, or above it at the project context. So uh, do be careful about that so you don't run into any errors. Uh, now in the settings installer, we're going to bind whatever game settings object is basically set in this scriptable object. And we're going to bind that to the container. So bind uh, game settings. And, and we could actually do something like bind interfaces and self to game settings. Um, and this would be nice if we ever decide to add any interfaces to the game settings. They'll already be bound here and we won't need to do a custom binding for every single interface. And we're going to bind this to single. So whatever settings are here is going to be the settings that resolves basically everywhere within the context that this settings installer is added to. So um, I think now we just need to actually create an instance of the scriptable object. So. So over in the project for the resources, I believe it does need to be in the resources folder. We're going to create a copy of this installer. So the settings installer, and we can call this uh, test settings installer. Uh, so as you can see here, the settings aren't showing up here for the test settings installer. Uh, the reason for that is I accidentally made the game settings private. We need it to be public so that it will show up in the Unity inspector by default. And it's still not loading, so I guess we need to take the game settings and also make the class serializable. Um, just so that Unity knows to try to serialize this. You don't need to worry about this warning here where it says that the class isn't serializable. 
um, because we're not trying to serialize it to a file. We're only trying to serialize it to the Unity inspector. So I think with that, it should show up. Okay, and there we go. So it's now serializing here in the scriptable object, and we can set that uh, greeting consumer prefab, going over to the prefabs folder, uh, drop it in there. And now, as long as this test setting, settings installer is actually being run and installed, then this setting should show up in Resolve. Now, in order to do that, we would want to add the uh, installer to either our scene context or our project context over here in the resources folder. I will add it to the scene context. So where it says scriptable object installers, I'm just going to hit plus and we're going to install our test settings installer. Okay, great. So what should happen here now is that this game settings is going to resolve after the settings installer runs. It's going to become a single object and anywhere where we need to inject this game settings object or any of the interfaces that it implements, currently none, then the game settings should be injected here before the install bindings runs. But we will hit play and see if all that happens. Okay, so I missed one thing here, and that's that we need to specify what instance we're actually binding the class from. Uh, if you look through this, you can see I'm binding the class, but I'm not specifying what instance of the class I'm actually binding. So we need to take this object over here and specify that as the instance. And we can do this by adding in between a single and bind interfaces and self to from, uh, we add in from instance, I believe. Okay, so uh, from instance, and then we give it an object, which is the game settings. So let's go ahead and hit play and see if that works with that change made. So we hit play and I don't see any errors. Everything's spawning again. So it looks like our mono installer is now using the settings pulled out of our scriptable object installer. And now what's so great about using a scriptable object installer is if we want to create a different uh, basically list of settings, then we just right click, go over here to create installers, settings installers, and I can call this live settings installer. And then whenever I want to interchange these, I just put whatever settings I want in here, go back to the scene context. So now all we need to do is drag in this live settings installer, replace the test settings installer, and then whatever settings we have in this uh, scriptable object, will be used instead of whatever's in our test settings installer. So really cool way of doing settings within Unity. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I will see you guys in my future Unity content.